that looks to me like the striker's initiating the contact. Uh, the keeper doesn't have to get out of his way for me. It's not a pen. Uh, what, what do you want me to comment on there? Well, because I think that's yes been comprehensively no. <laughs> Yes or no from you. I know, uh, I know you're a, you're a no, goalkeeper. No, no, I think that's a wonderful description of what happened. And uh, on reflection and seeing other people's opinions, I can definitely understand why it was given a penalty. In the past, I've actually thought, why don't referees give that sort of contact as penalties more often? Mm. Um, however, I I think if you're going to put a gun to my head and say pick one way or the other, I'm going to agree with you. I think the goalkeeper's gone out to make the save or shut down the space. He knows he's not going to get there. So to your point, he's put on the anchors and he's spread himself. The ball's gone past him. The covering defenders have obviously got there before it's crossed the line. And he's now turned around and he's looking back at the ball. The Argentine player has created the contact. So for me... I could completely understand why that wasn't given as a penalty. I think the only thing that I'm uncertain of, and forgive me, it's just uh, immediately after the game, mm. is that there could have been an argument that he could have got to the ball before the Croatian defenders, in which case mm, I think you can probably get further towards it being a clear-cut decision. But um, I, I think my final comment on it would be it's 50-50.